Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm just outside uh, Blockley. We've got Baxford Village just to the left of me. It's a private village, so we're not gonna venture down there. But we've got a beautiful sort of town hall spire type thing. I need to put my sunglasses on because they're prescription to see it. That is just, it's beautiful. It's epic. You know, look at the scenery around us. Uh, there's beautiful hanging trees. Look at that, the sun there. So I think we're gonna have a really great day. And let's take some photos. So to start with, as you can see, we've got this like beautiful town sort of village hall or whatever. We'll go up and look at that in a minute because I think I can cycle around up there. But from here, if we just take a look, I've got the Sigma 56 mil F1.8 focusing straight ahead. Beautiful. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch this over and I'm going to stick the Sony 85 on. So if you'll notice once again, new bag. So now I'm hitting up the Wandered Provoke 21. Decided to uh, splash the cash. Absolutely incredible bag. Incredible, love it already. And now here is the 85 mil. Again, 1.8, beautiful. So I could probably do a bit of a comparison between the two actually. But today, I mostly want to shoot on the Sigma 56 1.4. So let's put that back on. So as much as I said, I probably wasn't going to come into Batsford Village as it's a private, absolutely gorgeous little village. Look at it. Just that beautiful house over there. Um, I saw what spotted a woman walking a dog up here and I just said, is it possible to just come up and take some photos? And she said, yeah, more the merrier. It's amazing. It's amazing. Let me just clip my camera back on. And I will show you this quaint little place. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that hydrangea over there. I don't know how I know that's a hydrangea, but it definitely is. We've got another beautiful house there. I'm not sure how much the Action 2 is picking this up, but my God, this is fantastic. And then look at the little, look at the church. Let me step back a bit. Amazing. And then in that, hopefully, I've come over on my red mountain bike so we should be able to frame this up a bit get my bike in the shot it's red add a little bit of something different not just sort of the building element we've got we can get some really nice detailed shots as i said in my last video when i was using mainly the 85 mil really really enjoyed this and especially with the weather we're having in the uk at the minute this is just amazing um, i actually think if you watch my 85 mil video from last week which i'll uh, link above I actually think that that house that I was in there, Garzan, by accident, that is their driveway. I believe this down here is the driveway to that house. Now, obviously, it has got a private no entry sign, so we won't be going down there. But I believe that's their house. Look at that, there's even a post box over there. Fantastic, fantastic. Let's just take some shots. So, first shot, and this is one interesting thing where I may have to get the Sigma 24 mil out because I am literally. To get this house in, fo in shot, in view, on this 56 mil, I am literally down the road. I mean, I know they say walking, walking zoom, but I mean, this takes the biscuit. We have F1.4, focusing on those rhododendrons. I hope they're rhododendrons. Please correct me if I'm wrong. And then let's just bring this up to, let's go for F5.6. Again, focus on those rhododendrons. Beautiful. So change of plan, I know I said this video, I mainly wanted the Sigma 56 mil, but I've swapped it out for the 16 mil. So 24 mil full frame equivalent. And this is definitely, definitely going to be the better lens today. Without a shadow of a doubt. Let's just go F2.8. Beautiful. And I guess it's always nice to have the composition of, of something that you want. So my bike here, can we just about get that church in shot and my bike wonder oh not quite you know that's not the it's not really the shot i'm looking for the bike probably just looks better if it's flat against the wall bring it in obviously i've uh, i'll expose it for in them i'll focus in the middle f5 obviously as you can see correct orientation with the horizontal crank there everything it's beautiful bike actually i uh, i just never use it 
So what else can we go and take a photo of? You know, I'm always drawn to this post box, fantastic. And you know for a fact, we're F1.4 on that. We just want that post box, not anything else. We've got a horizontal. It's gonna get picked up at 3.30 today. Focus, bang in the middle. Beautiful. You know, it's all about leading lines, I guess. You've got leading lines, we've got these driveways. Uh, we can use gates, so we could come down here. Let's get nice and low, flip the screen out a bit so I can just see what I'm focusing on. Focus on the gate. Beautiful. You know, these are the things, it's just, it's just learning, isn't it? It's getting out there, getting it done. Well, not getting it done, that's the wrong word, but just having a go, you know? Just having a go. So give me a few minutes, guys. I'm just going to line up some more, hopefully beautiful photos. I'll be back with you. Hang on. That's lovely. The wood there. I love that. That wood in there. You see, this is now where the 56 would come in handy because I want to zoom. But I'm going to go for F8. Focus directly onto the wood. Perfect. I'm not sure any of these shots are going to be any good or that my beginner style photography is probably going to do them any justice. Because let's be honest, if you had someone like, I don't know, James Popsis or one of the other great British photographers, Nigel Danson or someone like that here, I reckon they would absolutely love this and get some amazing shots. But me, I'm doing the best I can. You know, I'm going to come down here, I'm going to shoot this, no, I want F8 actually. Now I'm going to go for a nice open F11, focus in, bang in the middle. Perfect. You know, I'm still learning all these different things like people are like, do you expose for the sky, are you exposing for the structure, uh, the brick wall? I guess I'm just doing a bit of whatever I want to do and uh, along the way, learning what I like because you know I thought oh well, I'm definitely going to prefer street photography but you know what I, I don't think I do especially not living in the area of the Cotswolds etc that I do I don't think I do prefer street photography the only thing I don't like about this probably Sigma 16 million in a in a fashion is uh let's go for f4 is how obviously perfect for houses etc without having to walk a million miles back but then for other stuff etc like those logs or the close-up stuff on my bike, you really have got to get right up to it. I guess really, for my A6400, you know, I really need that um, the Sigma 18 to 50 f2.8, don't I? Might have to dip into the piggy bank. Nah, I'd like, I, got, I couldn't do it. I've gone back to the um, to the 56, basically the 85 mil full frame equivalent. I don't know what it is. There's just something about the wider angle, even at like 24 mil. There's there's something about even 24 that uh, that I, I, I don't know, I don't like. And I can't even put my finger on it, you know. F1 point, no, we'll go one for it. Let's go all the way. About in the middle. Beautiful. Yeah, there's something just about the wide angle stuff that, I don't know, I'm not a fan of. But then that here, look, that is just, even at 56, that's it's too much, you know. I need something in the middle, don't I, you know. With me, I've got a 16mm Sigma, so 24mm full frame equivalent. We've got the 56 mil that I've got here. So that's around 85 mil full frame equivalent. And then I have got the 85 Sony full frame, but then that's around the 127, 130 mark full frame. So between 24 and 85, I haven't got anything. And you know, I've, I'd need that Sigma, don't I, to cover that range. Cause that 18 to 50, it will cover it perfectly. Or do I buy the Sigma 30 mil? which I could probably pick up quite cheap. But anyway, less of my rambling. Let's go take some photos. Beautiful house over here with the gate. I reckon we can get that in shot, in view. Oh, I suppose one gonna film up a screen wash, I think. Wow, she's even got like a, the, the house phone on, like a hip belt. Never seen that before. So I like this, you know, I'm gonna focus on that top window, 1.4. Lovely. Hopefully, yeah, we've got a nice blurry gate. I like that. That's nice. That's nice. 
and I'm going to have to uh, get a shot of these. Morning. Going to have to get a shot of these rhododendrons. I hope they're rhododendrons, you know. No, they're not rhododendrons. What am I about? They're, that's a hydrangea, isn't it? I'm even confusing myself now, and I thought I was some, like, very old, cool garden person, but clearly, yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about. But, yeah, this was the woman, the woman that I said I spoke to. This is uh, F1.4 right in the middle bang so the woman who i spoke to i said uh so i could come here and take some beautiful photos she walked into that little quaint it looks like that used to be the old security guard post you know what i mean for these two houses here although to be honest i can see the private no access to arboretum so yeah these are obviously the two sort of private houses and that must have been like the gatekeeper but speaking of which gates i like gates let's go f8 Focus right in the center. I need to stand in the center, right in the center. Beautiful, perfect. I mean, I say beautiful, perfect. I have no idea because these shots could be terrible, but at least I've taken something. At least I've come out. See, look at that. If, I don't know if you can see it on the, uh, on the action too. I presume you can, but look, this house here, it's just way too zoomed. I just can't get any photos. So what I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna position my bike in some nice places so I can get some good shots of it. So let's do that. So as you may or may not be able to see, I managed to perch my mountain bike just over there against the curb. So it's not to disturb or lean up against that beautiful brick wall. And I'm hoping with the 56 mil that you can see and I can see as well because the sun is glaring down from there. So we're gonna go 1.4 because I want maximum on the bike and minimum elsewhere. So select that focus point right down there. It's tracking that bike and it's just in shot. Yeah. No, not really. It's not doing it for me. It's not really what I wanted. Uh, maybe we need to go closer up, but then I won't get all of the house in. So what I'm gonna do now, guys, is I'm just gonna go around this little area, take a few more shots. Um, I won't bore you to death with me rambling while I walk around and I'll put together a little bit of a slideshow come collage before we wrap the video up. So uh, that's it for this week's video, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed Batsford. Hope you got something out of it. Just going along my sort of beginner photography kind of role. Hopefully there's something you can take away from it. I hope so. I hope as I watch more videos and as I become a little bit more advanced, I guess, in, in my photography skills, hopefully I can offer you guys a little bit more than I do now. But hotfully you like my ramblings and my going around the Cotswolds, which I'm gonna do lots more of. Um, I hope you liked the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Uh, please subscribe to the channel as well. That'd be highly, highly appreciated. I'm moving in the right direction, but I'd love to see it grow a little bit more. Hope you guys have a great day and I'll catch you in the next one.